Howdy howdy everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn very interesting feature of Microsoft Outlook which is email templates. So first of all, what is email template? An email template in Outlook is pre-designed email message that can be saved and reused multiple times. It allows user to create a standard format for emails that are frequently sent such as newsletters, meetings, invitations or responses to common inquiries. So in this video you will learn three ways how you can create your email template, how you can save your email template and how you can reuse email template in future. Click on the new email. So I have already opened my new email. And I have also created a detailed message. Technically, I am an event manager in my company and my job is to organize and make sure to manage the meeting and during the meeting and at the end of the meeting all comes under me. So I have to create a specific email which consists of everything. So I have created an email which consists of inputs which I need to replace time to time. Every time when I email to my group, I have to change the date and time, I have to change the topic, I have to change the location, even also I have to change the meeting agenda. These are some things which I need to change on the regular basis. If I have the format in like this, I don't have to type the entire email every time. So I will tell you with my first option, which is quick parts. So it is very simple. You have to select the entire message. I use control A to select it, then control C to copy. In the insert tab, there is an option quick parts. Click here. Now there is an option save selection to quick parts gallery. All I have to do is to simply click on this button because I have already selected the entire message and I have to simply hit save selection to quick parts gallery. Now a dialog box appears, create new building block. So here I have to name this quick part so I name it meeting now the gallery is quick parts category general I don't want to change anything else and nothing 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 simply hit ok now my quick part is saved now if I want to reuse it what I have to do I will show you click on the new email so this is my blank email message body go to the insert click on select click on quick parts and here your saved quick part which you have already saved you only have to click here and your message pulled from the quick parts now you can change your inputs what we have discussed earlier you have to change it manually you can simply instead of typing the email address of your individual you can simply type the your group name and simply send the email this is the first method second method is you can use my templates if you are using Microsoft Outlook 365, you can use this My Template option. For that, click on Home tab. Then here is a Get Add-ins. Now click on My Add-ins. I have already added My Template, so I have to click My Add-ins. So here is my My Templates. You can click here. You can view details here. This is already added in this. So now I have to click on the new email and you will see on the message tab my templates is already in my ribbon so I have to click here now if you can see there are few samples Outlook provide you you can uh, delete the template you can edit this template and on the bottom there is an option with a plus sign templates here you can create your own customized template but there is one problem you can simply type the matter here. You cannot customize it. So it is better to create your matter or your email message in some different platform such as Microsoft Word or something. So I have already created in my previous message. So I simply click here, control C to copy and simply paste here. Now it consists of all the things I have added. It also consists the link which I have already added in my message board. Once everything is okay, you can name your template. Again, I name it meeting and hit, simply hit save. For the next time, when you want to create an email message, simply hit on the message, click on my templates and here is your saved template which you have saved in my template. Click here and your 
message will be pasted in your email body. Now you can change the inputs here and very easily you can send it. Now the third option is very lengthy option which I usually want to ignore it. First of all, create your message. You can also enter the email address of your recipient here. You can also enter the subject. Now click on the file tab from the left top corner of your screen. Now click here save as. When you click on save as the type of the file is Unicode. That means if you save this email that will be open in some different outlook. You can also open in your mobile. But in, in this case you want to save as save it as template. So if you click on the drop down list, there is an option Outlook templates. When you click here, you can see that the folder is also changes. You have to save the meeting.oft is the extension. Don't change anything. You can simply change the name if you want and simply hit save. Now your meeting template is saved. How you can use it? Simply open your Outlook and here instead of clicking on new email, you have to click on new items here. In the drop down list here. Now you will see lots of options. Go to more items. Go to choose forms. Here choose form dialog box appears. You have to again click on the drop, drop down. Now you have to select use templates in file system. When you click here you will be forwarded to that same folder where you have saved your template. So select the template click open and that will be automatically open in a new message window where the message is already available your email address of your recipient and the subject is already available now you can change the inputs you can add some additional information here and simply send this email these are three methods you can use email templates in outlook to avoid writing a huge message every time you want to send the message to your recipient. So I hope you found this video useful and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe this YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.